Well, it seems like you see them everywhere in Arkansas, but for at least nine months, you won't see new dollar stores cropping up in Little Rock. Last night, city directors voted to block new low priced convenience stores and new at six. THB 11's Jay Jackson explains why. The board wanted to do that to make way for grocery stores like K Hall and Sons, a local spot that's been here for decades and is a staple in their community. Well, most of the items, I mean, the, the community needs them. So they make sure the options are available. And most people need them in their diet. K Hall and Sons Grocery gets truckloads of food items three times a week to keep their shelves stocked with produce. We don't have space to carry a lot of it, but we try to carry the, the basic main items that, that people need in their everyday life. For more than 40 years, owner David Hall says they've played their part to combat the area's food desert status. We deliver produce. We deliver produce to a lot of the local schools, uh, a lot of the local restaurants. Residents have been saying for years that they wanted to see grocery stores, full service grocery stores in the parts of Little Rock that don't have full service grocery stores. District 3 director Kathy Webb proposed the resolution to halt any new dollar stores from being built for the next nine months in Little Rock. More people should have access to uh, good, healthy, nutritious food, and we have a lot of neighborhoods in Little Rock where folks don't have that access. Like between 12th Street and Woodrow. According to Webb, studies show grocery stores tend to close when dollar stores open up in any urban area populated by marginalized communities. The resolution doesn't allow any zoning request to be approved for a business with more than 12,000 square feet that sells a majority of its products for less than $10. And now it's looking to the future for other options and solutions to tackle hunger. And really, truly come up with a variety of policy options that would offer people access to healthy, nutritious food in the neighborhood. Little Rock, Jay Jackson, THB 11 News.